Who are you? I don't understand. You wanted to look professional, but instead you ended up looking 12. I'd never attempt a human trial this early. The loss of your masculinity is very persuasive. Wait. How do you feel? Pretty miffed, honestly. We need to run some tests. This is fantastic. Can you imagine how much more powerful the presentation will be when I have my past and future self here to talk about it? Tim. I need to edit the PowerPoint. Tim! Your presentation is fine, but they couldn't take you seriously. And that's directly tied to the amount of facial hair you have. That can't be scientifically sound. I'm gonna go back through the machine. And when I do, there better be a nice, luxurious mane flowing from the bottom half of my face. Got it? I understand. If you could just pee in this. Goodbye, Tim. What the hell is wrong with you? I thought it would be a compromise. A compromise? What, did you want every scientist in the area to think you fought in World War I? I was going for a Tom Selleck vibe. Yeah, and you ended up with Zorro. To be honest, it doesn't even look that bad. Do you know who shows up at our presentation? Neil deGrasse Tyson, one of the most prominent scientific communicators of this generation. Do you know what he did as soon as you walked out on stage? He held back a laugh. It could have been a sneeze. Don't shave. At all. There is no version of this where you end up happy. How can you possibly know that? You know, I remember saying that to myself. And I can assure you now, in this moment, I look like a damn fool for saying it. And by I, I mean you. I've only been visited twice. There must be one that works. There is. It's called a beard. Are you kidding me? What the hell is this? One guy spit out his drink when I walked up there like this. No one thought it was Charlie Chaplin. You look like a gay version of your dad. Just keep the beard, you son of a bitch! It's as if you stopped wanting to get laid ever again. Not a lot of Wolverine fans in the audience. Shave. And however my face looks after the presentation will be the last thing you see. Wait. A stool sample would be really helpful. And appearance aside, I could really use some insight on the PowerPoint based on what you've... experienced. Ah!